Hi Oliver, so we're here today to talk about CRH. They've made a big announcement about buying a big acquisition for them. Um, they've made a few small ones in the past, but this one's much bigger, isn't it? It is, yes. CRH is a serial acquirer of assets. It's a, a building materials company, and it often makes small bolt-on acquisitions. It's average deal sizes in the kind of high teens, low twenties of millions of euros. This is a very big acquisition. It's 6.5 billion euros. It's buying a, a collection of assets from Holson and Lafarge, which needs to sell these assets to get their own deal through the, through the regulators. So it's a, a big package of assets. That said, it's not radically different from what CRH has bought in the past. It's a, a collection of cement and concrete and aggregates um, assets that will fit into CRH's existing operations. And do you think it's something that they're going to be able to handle? Yes, they've got experience at handling these kind of uh, bolt-ons, and they, they've, uh, it shouldn't stretch the balance sheet too much. They've done a place in to part fund some of it, and the debt won't be too high. So financially, they should be able to handle it, and the company knows how to, to integrate new plants. There's the synergies. They're saying about 90 million euros a year as CRH's own plants can buy materials and inputs from the some of the, the plants that it's buying. Um, also, the valuation looks reasonable. It's about 8.6 times historic earnings. Now, that's uh, pretty reasonable. Some recent disposals that CRH has made itself have been up into the low double digits multiples of, of earnings. So it's pretty good, uh, pretty good price from that perspective. And CRH is sort of focused in North America and Europe, aren't they? Does this change them at all? Well, it changes the mix, and this is where you might have questions about the rationale of this acquisition. At the moment, CRH's earnings come about, just over half of them are from the U.S., and about 30 or percent from Western Europe. This deal changes that mix because it's buying a lot more in Western Europe than it's buying in the U.S., although it is buying in both. After this, the U.S. will be about 38 percent, and the European, as Western Europe will be, I think, kind of mid-30s. So it changes the mix. And you, you've got to ask if that's a sensible thing to do, given that the American economy is recovering and the Western European economy is not doing well at all. Now, that said, a lot of these new assets are in the UK, which is doing slightly better than continental Europe. But still, I'm not sure it changes the mix in a very favorable way. Okay. That's interesting times. Thanks very much.